Welcome back to Spiritually Speaking Podcast. This is Lisa Maria, and today we're going to talk about understanding dream landscapes and moods. So stay tuned. I'll be right back. Welcome to Spiritually Speaking Podcast. My goal is to teach you the elements of spirituality that will show you how to find your passion and purpose in life. I'm your host, Lisa Maria. So join me in another session of Spiritually Speaking. Welcome back. This is Lisa Maria, host of Spiritually Speaking. Today we're talking about understanding dream landscapes. In the ever-changing landscape of your dreams, you can find yourself strolling through lush green fields one minute, then along an urban alley in the next. The changing landscapes of your dreams illustrates some of the dream tricks used by your subconscious to make you more aware of your waking environment. The setting of your dreams is as significant as the actions that are taking place. Dream landscapes can open your eyes to hidden potentials. For example, dreaming of being in outer space could indicate open possibilities that require an overview of the bigger picture. Whereas dreaming of an enclosed space could imply that a situation requires close scrutiny. Your subconscious terrain can help you to understand your dreams better. Although, to interpret the full meaning, you still need to examine how you interact within the dream landscape. Now, the dream setting is very important because it can indicate the real world environment with which you are having to cope, as well as suggesting where you need to navigate and negotiate to move on, in a positive direction, of course. There's frequent change, and changing dream scenes suggest a need to be more flexible and aware of the different spheres in your life. For example, You could be relaxing by a pool in one scene, implying satisfaction and comfort, only to find yourself frantically running down a rugged, dusty, and windblown past the next. Now, there's recurrences as well, and if you have not understood the connection of a dream landscape to a real-life situation then the scene is revisited so you can learn in safe, familiar surroundings. And then there's familiar scenes. Landscapes that you are familiar with in everyday life are more likely to appear in your dreams because you have a close understanding of them. When you embark on something totally new in life, the dream landscape can become obscure and fantastical. Every landscape that you have ever seen or imagined is a possible setting for your dreams. This can range from an arctic tundra to the fire of a volcanic eruption. Let's go over some dream landscapes that you can start to interpret in your dreams. Let's start with urban landscapes. A familiar city center Suggest that you are exploring your environment for ways of advancing or improving your lot in life. Finding yourself in an unfamiliar city foretells of changes of a location and new opportunities. To be inside a skyscraper indicates that it's time to reach for your goals. To view the skyscraper from the outside indicates that you should assess the company before proceeding. A countryside landscape. To see luscious green rolling fields signifies great prosperity and happiness in your personal and business life, while fresh dew or soft rain on rolling hills bodes well for sensual pleasures. Dry, uninhabited areas foretell of reversals in your fortunes, whereas a newly plowed field indicates that your ambitions are within reach 
if you are prepared to toil ahead. Coastal lands, a busy beach resort, suggest new romantic inclinations tied with financial improvements. Walking alone along a rugged coastline denotes challenging relationships. As a dream omen, sand dunes warn against questionable schemes or proposals from acquaintances whose intentions are manipulative or exploitative. Lying on a beach can imply that soon you will have no time to wallow, so enjoy the respite while it lasts. A desert. Perseverance and stamina through a long and difficult journey are indicated in a dream of an arid desert, but with the promise of success if you hold true to your vision. A sandy desert denotes contentment and good news about your most recent efforts. However, if your trek was hindered by sandstorms, then difficulties may temporarily blind you. Let's look at mountain ranges. Soaring peaks suggest major obstacles to overcome, while falling into a ravine are emotional chasms into which you could fall. Being in a valley means that emotional conflicts are abound, but they will not rock the long-term foundations of your relationship. A snowy mountain scene implies hardship, calling for ingenuity. An erupting volcano means that an old situation may explode, pouring out disastrous details. Let's look at tropical landscapes. A difficult passage through a tropical jungle warns against getting involved with other people's financial problems. Getting caught in an undergrowth is an omen of foolish romantic entanglement. To be stranded on a tropical island signifies that there are obstacles ahead of you. While living on or visiting a tropical island implies new, exciting experiences. To be in a wild forest indicates that someone you trust could let you down. Now don't forget, I've given you a freebie, which is the Dream Log Template. Now, this template is not just a basic template. It actually is three pages long, and it gives you so many different options to record your dreams. And you can get that template at www.spiritualonlinecourses.org forward slash free dash resources. And don't forget, Send me one of your dreams and I will give you a free interpretation of that dream. So this way it can give you a head start. So I'm offering that during the dream analysis podcast series. I'll be offering one free dream interpretation per person. So don't forget to send it to me at dreams at life you dot me that's dreams at life you l-i-f-e-y-o-u dot m-e i will talk to you in the next podcast where we're going to start learning about how to recognize your dream self and analyze dream characters So stick with me. This is a great series, and I'm going through it step by step with you. I will talk to you in the next podcast. Namaste. Are you looking for guidance in your life? Are you trying to figure out what your next step is? Book a psychic reading with psychic medium and spiritual teacher, Lisa Maria, who offers personal readings along with discounted home parties and events. Readings are available online or in person. For more information, visit www.lisamaria.com. That's www.lisamaria.com. Or you can contact Lisa directly at reading request at life you dot me that is reading request at l-i-f-e-y-o-u dot m-e start changing your life
today.